Nigeria's two leading political parties have been engaged in a war of words over a change in the location of polling units. It's alleged, as by one of those political parties who have analysis of this move, or alleged move by the Independent National Electoral Commission. Also on the breakfast, yesterday's rainfall has seen parts of Lagos heavily flooded, putting individuals and families at risk. What is the solution to the perennial flooding in Nigeria's mega city? Plus, we'll have in depth analysis of some of today's newspaper headlines. We call it Other Press right here on The Breakfast. We're back with the breakfast of Plus TV Africa. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning, reaching you live from the studios in Victoria and Lagos. And what is a uh, beautiful Tuesday, like we said, we have a range of discussions lined up for you on the breakfast. My name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Bopo. Good morning and thanks for joining us. All right, Mercy looking quite sparkly as always. Um, a lot going on. Before we get to a new review, of course, we have a, a look at what's happening today in history. We usually will start with a look at what's been trending in the conversations online. We take those conversations from uh, the social space, the online space, and we bring them on end. What is a very startling story, but it maybe seems it ended well. Um, uh, you know, imagine this and picture this. Uh, a, a graduate who's been out of school, graduated from the university for years, taking his certificate going back to his school and saying, take my certificate. I don't want it again. Give me back my fees, school fees I paid whilst I was in the school. Give it back to me. This is bizarre. I have never seen anything. You know, people say these things when they're joking. Well, this is what happened um, uh, when a social media skit maker. Uh, his, that's what we know them as these days. And a graduate of Agricultural Extension and Rural Development at Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, or Bomosho, or your state. His name is Oshun Leke Alaba. Um, he has been presented with a check of 500000 uh, by the school's alumni association uh, after he trained a few days ago. After he trained a few days ago. Over what he approached, or after he approached, um, the university in tears for not being able to do anything with the certificate he got from the school years after graduating. Now, what he said was his parents took loans to fund his schooling and he couldn't and could not continue to sustain him with such funding, adding that his action was not a social media stunt. Uh, some people felt his action was a social media stunt. He said, no! It's not a social media stunt. Now, the skit maker said, quote, I returned the certificate because I had no impact. It had no impact on my existence. I asked uh, for a refund of the fees and paid in the school so I could use it to build my talent and live a meaningful life. You know, so, well, fast forward. I mean, maybe it's one of those happily ever after stories where the school's alumni says, oh, my friend, come, we'll support you. Take 500,000 naira uh, and make your life <laughs> Bizarre. <laughs> Have you seen anything like this, Messi? Have you? No, I haven't I, seen I, I, anything I haven't like this. I mean, when when I actually saw the story or reports, I kept thinking to myself, has this ever happened? And you know, will this ever actually happen? And it's like you have mentioned, it's bizarre. But for me, it feels like we probably might just have a trend, right? It might just be a revolution or a movement where a lot of persons would actually go to their universities because we know some persons who have graduated, you know, over the years and they're not working. So it's possible <laughs> that people will just go back to their universities wow. and be asking wow. for their, you know, certificates. But his story is quite pathetic. And I think that that's not just the... It's not peculiar to him. It cuts across board. It might not necessarily be the same, but it's almost one and the same thing, you know, with a lot of persons who have graduated over the years. And uh, I think about the time he got... Okay, let me not even say that. Uh, over the years and then, you know, they are without a job. And, I mean, I mean looking... I, I listened to it. I watched him you know, talk about why his uh, acts that his certificate should be returned. He said that his parents actually borrowed to fund his education. And at this point in time, he's still collecting from his father 
Hmm. And, and that's really, really saddening. I mean, who at, at some point you want to wish that you're able to take care of your parents. So, you so, know, so it, so, it goes a long so, way. But Kofi, yes, the, yes, to, yes. Be, to be realistic, I think that we're in a system, unfortunately, they say you need to go to school, but hey, education is, is, is just to have you um, be, uh, have your mind being open. I mean, understanding and what have you, that, that's basically what it does for you. But I think that over time, the educational system that we have and that we have practiced has not been able to e equip the people with the relevant skills and, you know, abilities that they need f to solve the current day problems. I mean, everyday problem that people face. So we're evolving. It's beyond all of the theories. Uh, people need to have the skills. So do we have an educational system that's equipped persons or individuals with these required skills? Even though that's actually not even an excuse because we see a lot of persons who have graduated from the university. And if you look at what they practically came out with from the university, it's not what they're doing right now. So it might not be an excuse, but it doesn't cut across everyone. I'm not sure everyone has the tenacity and you know, whatever it is to push forward and push through with it. But it brings me back to the convention of, I mean, to the conversation of where we need to pay attention to vocational, you know, education. I'm not just talking about vocational education being introduced to the curriculum, but I'm saying that let's have, yes, we know that a lot of people say we have vocational institutions across the country. I'm saying let's pay attention to it. There's so much hype and emphasis on having a certificate, a degree. And that's why people just want to go to school. These days, a lot of persons will cut corners and just try to get the certificate because of the emphasis we've placed on it. It's important that we place premium. And that's because everyone wants to get a white collar job. Let's place premium as well on, you know, the regular, I mean, the con not the conventional. Conventional would be just the regular universities you go, you get a degree and what have you. But let's pay attention to educational, vocational, training, social and what have you, skills where people can actually learn carpentry for real. I don't, I don't think that it would be great for us to add it into the curriculum. This is me just thinking because it might just be another thing. I mean, in the course of going through school, we had all of those skills courses where you would have to acquire entrepreneurship courses and all of that. But really, does it even, you know, sustain after the examination and all of that. I think that it's important that rather than have more universities where we've been taught theories and all of that, it's important to have, you know, school of carpentry. Someone could learn and become, seriously, we need to actually pay attention to this. And, and that's it because over time, there's been, uh, you know, those who have actually gone before, before us and this economists and countries that are practicing this. And they say that vocational training and education is actually very important to the development of every economy. And so let's begin to be skillful. How do we solve daily problems? The problems every day, problem of food, clothing, what have you, transportation, you know, different kind of skills, things that we need. I think that that's where we should be moving towards rather than always having, because that's it. We have 1,001 persons. But for me, it might just be, you know, a pathetic thing to do. But, you know, will the system, can the educational system sustain this particular practice or this, you know, gesture that has actually been meted out to uh, Alaba, right? Can it be sustained? What if I decide that I want to go back to my institution and get a refund of all of the school fees I have paid and what have you. I mean, that's on a lighter note. But I know that, Kofi, you you, you probably have something. You seem very shocked and shocked. No, no. I, I, yeah, I think um, <laughs> uh, we, we have uh, we saw all that needs to be said, uh, you know, about this. And uh, so... I think, I think that's it, that's it. But let, let's move to, to the second, uh, the second. Oh, so, so the second one is that um, those who are questioning Tunubu's certificate should go into the bush. Uh, that's what Kayamo. I mean, Kayamo's been on the news just recently. Uh, he's been topping the chart. If you look at the trending, there's been a lot that he's said from granting interviews in different sphere and all of that. And, and you know the issue of, you know, certificate for those who are uh, vying for the position. Not necessarily, but I mean, from the president, the, the, the president, the current president that we have, uh, Mohammed Buhari, 
Uh, there's been a lot about whether or not he has a certificate, whether or not he graduated, what does he have, a first school living certificate or what not, or a senior school certificate and all of that. And you know that um, the Nigerians have been big on whether or not those who want to become president should have uh, a certificate. But his response in, in the course of responding to different questions and issues, addressing party issues and interests, uh, he said that the, for those who were asking that he, he would not answer his detractors, but rather they should go to the bush and, you know, look for it. Sounds like, you know, one of those things we say as children. I mean, it's like, you're playing with your little cousin or playing with the children in the neighborhood and you tell them, you know, I'll just go to the bush or just go somewhere and get a sleep. But that has also not really sat well with a lot of persons because if, if you look at the issue of certificate and what the constitution, you know, talks about, you know, the criteria, uh, of course, it's important that we understand uh, those who are vying for political office. Is it uh, a, a necessary criteria? Because a lot of persons have said that uh, there are situations where you have professors. It's, it's not a yardstick to actually have, you know, good governance and, and have, you know, a viable president or governor, what have you. But sh should it really matter? Does it really matter? These are some of the questions that's been raised. Indeed. Um, I mean, uh, for me, it's, it's neither here uh, nor there. Um, you know, I, 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 I uh, haven't seen Kayamo's statements. Um, I haven't um, watched him say this. Um, I think there's been a, a back and forth between uh, Daniel Bola and uh, Fessus Kayamo over um, over President Buhari's certificate. Uh, sorry, uh, Bola Betinbu's uh, certificate issues and. Um, uh, Bola had brought out some information that Kayamo had sued Tinbu some time ago. Um, you know, so th there is a report saying that um, Kayamo uh, said, quote, anybody looking for Bola Tinbu certificate until now, the person should enter the bush and look for it. It's, it's, it's just like they did to Buhari since 2015. Um, this is what he's uh, uh, quoted as saying. He's also quoted as saying, you know, that... Um, They've been shouting Buhari certificate. The man is finishing his eight years tenure. Uh, his picture is hung on the villa wall as a past president. Meanwhile, some uh, people are still looking uh, for his uh, uh, certificate. So uh, these are quotes from uh, an online medium. Um, so, so I mean, for me, it's part of the political talk. I don't think uh, uh, I, will, I want to get drawn on this because um, important issues to look at. It's just part of the normal political season. No, no, but whether or not you it's know, actually um, part of the moment of a political season or not, I mean, because right cause, now... Cause, cause the reason, it's, it's, reason, it's a case. The reason I said this is that if you... If you we, we scamper for everything that... There will be a lot of these antics. There will be a lot, a lot of these. So, so know, what... So, this, so, 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 sorry, Mercy. There will be a lot of these antics. These are what the politicians would normally say, you know. So if he says, ah, you guys should go, go to the bush and look for it, people will run. And say, ah, why did he say you should go to the bush? These are the things they say. I think the bottom line is as long as, um, you know, the, the lines of reason, you know, um, of course, have not been crossed, uh, I think election is just us. How many days away? People will vote and then choose who they want to vote for. No, no. Um, well, I, as much as, you know, it might just be statements that you have politicians making over time, but I also think that it's important that we pay attention to this thing because every other time, you, you have people who say, hey, you, we don't have to be your role model. I mean, this is not role model, is what it is. The concept. But these are statements that are coming from very uh, prominent person. Whether or not we have been able to, I mean, to say, okay, did he really say it or he did not say it? But the, you, you have the statement already, you know, in space, and we're hoping that there's some clarification on his part. He should comment and say, I didn't say this. Because if you look at that issue... I, 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 mean, haven't, if it's something, I haven't seen a video where he said so, it. So, so I'm saying that if, if it's something to I'm, go I'm by... I'm not defending him. For, I understand you totally, out, yeah. Kofi, but I'm saying that if it's something to go by, you want to ask yourself that once upon a time, you remember that the APC in Oshun State had gone to court over the issue of certificate. And so it would really, really not even add up or sit well, you know, with the APC to say, hey, or APC uh, stakeholder or anyone from the party to say you can go to the bush. That, that being said, 
I mean, if it's anything to go by, that's a statement. Because we're still here grappling with education, people refunding their certificates and trying to get money from all of it. Yeah. So it's a lot. Yeah. So you, you know, what are we know, saying? Are we, are we see, in an area where we're saying see, that it's not so, important? There's so, much, there's so much to unravel and unpack as far as these elections are concerned. And, and instead of, I mean, for people who have an issue with Bola Tinubu's credentials, I mean, t time is running out. Why, why are they not in court? You know, because talking and then, uh, you know, reacting gets nobody anywhere. I, I mean, like I said, the political rhetoric is going to get, you know, to increase. And we'll be seeing more. This is not the worst we've seen. This is not the worst we've seen. That's why I don't want to get, you know, I don't think people should get drawn. This is my view. Or personally, I won't get drawn on because Kayama said we should go to the bush. This is not what we want these guys to see. But, Bessie, they, have you heard what we can said lately? <laughs> he said he he said is if he t t tells her if he reveals information he has uh, on Amichi Amichi's wife will believe him. In other words, he say, say you know he's trying to break someone's mind. These are things that these guys say. He's talking about Amichi's wife. No, no, no. So, you know, but, and, you know, when it comes but, to when it comes but, to but when it comes to reason and um, uh, what do they call it? Um, uh, con good conscience. These guys have have you know when you used to draw this line on the on the sword back in the day we played this game. You played it now. What was it called again? I'm not sure um, I played it. You oh, can't that you, sure jump, that you jump on in boxes. When you clear the line on the sand with your feet, you can't see the line. These guys have cleared the line when it comes to reason and, uh, you know, at least reasonable talk in, in, in the political season and good rhetoric, you know. So, so if we follow them, we follow them, we'll be reacting to no, no, everything. No, no, but, but, but what, I'm, what I'm saying, I think the, uh, the best thing for, for people who feel yeah, Tinubu has certificate issues is to actually do Nigeria a service. Help Nigeria. Go to court and, and prove it so that, so that we don't have him on the ballot. And time is running out. So that they waiting for. Very if you keep valid. talking, nothing will change. Why are you talking? No, no, no. V v very valid. But we're also saying that as much as we understand that this might just be the gimmicks, you know, it's, it's part of politics and the shenanigans that we're going to be seeing as we proceed. You know, it's usually part of the practice for politicians. But we're saying that these issues that have been raised are very critical. And so, because it feels like there's yeah, a pattern. Yeah, critical. Critical no, for what no, now? No, critical no, coffee, you just no, raised them now. and say they're critical. Like, like for instance. If, if you're going to go to court no, and say, excuse me now. Um, justice, uh, 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 what's <laughs> it? give me one. In please remove me. Oh, I don't have, no. We're no, no, they're no, critical. Coffee, critical coffee, for coffee, what? Coffee, you coffee, coffee, see where, see where I'm coming talk from. about things to talk. What I'm saying that is critical. I mean, we, it seems like we'll have a So what should happen next? This morning, we have on top trending that someone has has returned his certificate. And that, on that the was other a publicity hand, stunt, please. Oh, wait. You know, oh, well, how can you, you come you, and tell you, me that, <laughs> that you left school and you could not find a job? Well, so you just that's, to give that's on the are one you, hand. Are you, are you out of your mind? So, so let's stay with the please, reality please, now. So just, what, one just, person. Now, this is what I'm saying. I'm saying I good. can guarantee you that that 500,000 Naira may not yield anything for that No, month. no, but that's not, that's not even the issue. Like, so you are talking about, you know, what... Uh, what ought to be. I'm talking about what is. And what is is that it has happened. And if it has happened, and if it is what it is, what is going on? Are we now saying that it's not important? Okay, There's nothing okay, wrong about having a certificate? No, we need okay, to the spokesman of the All Progressives Congress presidential campaign. These are the things they say. If we get drawn, if we allow it to get to us, we'll not move on. We, we, it's part of the game, the, the, the season. You know, it's part of it. So what do we do now? We know, oh, okay, I'm says we should go into the bush. The, per second, they are saying these things. It's, imp it's important, I think, to focus on the big picture, which is changing the way our politics is run. And that happens at about. And then for those who feel that there's something there, hey, the courts are open. You, you actually are going to be, end up being the problem. You have this evidence, and all you're doing is just talk. Go to the court quickly. There's no time. You know, that's what I mean. Anyway, Messi, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. That's um, on you now. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Okay, all right. Um, Asu, Asu segment. This should be an Asu segment for this week. I think we should have a, an Asu segment every week. Um, everybody's been carried away with the Queen. You know, she's been uh, Queen Elizabeth of blessed really? memory. Of blessed <laughs> memory. But we should not forget that our university lecturers are still on strike and the students are still at home. Mercy, yesterday, a parent called me and said, can I look for a school in neighboring Ghana for the children. So what did you do? And I said, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to them. You know, parents are sending, I was at a function 
on Saturday. It was one of these study abroad functions held at a very big hotel not far from us, you know. A very big hotel not far from us. I won't mention where, but if you know what I mean. And, and Messi, I counted thousands of students, the young Nigerians, parents, guardians, and, and, and students, youngsters, who were, it was a trade fair of sorts of for, for foreign universities. Many of them, they came from Australia, believe it or not, they came from Australia to Lagos to do education trade fair. But, Kofi, why are you They came like from this? Canada. <laughs> they came from the United States of America. They came from UK. Oh, you need to the UK universities. Messi, if you know that big hotel where um, uh, uh, Shetima, you know, that whole issue, you know, when the NBA had their... I, know, you know, I have an idea. Big hall. Big hall. No space. You know, you have, people have to queue. Parents are looking for how to take their children out of the country. I saw a youngster sitting down because I went to look at and look for, look, make inquiries for someone. And one youngster who was sitting down, he was tapping his feet like this. Jakpa, Jakpa, Jakpa. How do you know that, that's what he was doing? He, I heard him singing the song. I, and I said, <laughs> oh boy, I, I, was like, I heard that song. Oh. He said, yes, now. I want Jakpa. No, but, but In fact, it is, it is so, Jakpa is now a word that... Um, one of the online streaming platforms where you watch your movies, the new one that is trying to upstage or take away from the one that you've been watching, the one you stream your phone, you stream movies. Eh? They are saying you should jack to their platform. They are using that word to market and sell themselves. So the government has to do something quick. The National Industrial Court, this is one that got people talking yesterday, has adjourned to September 16, 2022, the suit filed by the federal government. And this is the, the whole comedy that we're seeing. This is night of a thousand laughs. Night, well, it is morning. It is 7.23, day of a thousand laughs. They took ASU to the National Industrial Court over the strike. And um, they approached the court sitting in Abuja, requesting an order for ASU to resume um, while he continues to engage the union to address the dispute. Okay? Um, and this is what we have. The court has adjourned this case. I think we don't need to go into the, all the details, the, 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 the case file and, and all that. But, um, you know, a statement by the head press and public relations of the Ministry of Labor and, Product and Employment uh, indicated the matter was referred to the Registrar of the National Industrial Court by the minister. Okay, and he had been saying this according to the labor laws, you know, no work, no pay. You know, and over, and then he's trying to get them back to back to school to, to, to teach and all that. So only only God knows if this will make Asu more resolute, you know, in its uh, determination to stay out of classroom until they get everything they're asking for, you know, or if this would soften their stance and force them them back to the classroom. And so picture this, Mercy. If the court says go back to the classroom, the striking lecturers go back. I, I don't know. It will be dependent, you know, on the union you, to, to actually obey that or not. I mean, if you look at uh, the culture of obeying the rule of law, it hasn't been very pleasant. Uh, you will also find out that the executive arm of government has also fallen short of it. So these days, when I hear that Sarah is suing the government and students are dragging and are saying, hey, uh, there should be a certain injunction, let the court give an order, the next question would be, will this order be obeyed? Is there anything that would persuade people to obey it? So it feels like you know we're just in a system where anyone wakes up, including the judiciary, which we think that you know it's a, it's, it's a hope for the common man. But is it really a hope for a common man? A quick one here as we begin to coast this conversation down. So I had a quick conversation because I saw a meme, you know, that talked about resolving conflicts between uh, <clears throat> the lecturers and uh, the university. And then I remember a lecturer of mine who was who taught peace and conflict resolution. So I sent the meme to her, and of course we had a conversation. Now, uh, knowingly to me, she was already in Saudi Arabia because you know her husband had moved, was a medical doctor, and she's also there marking time you know, to become a professor and then move in eventually. And so she talked about the fact that if you look at some of the issues that ASU had talk, are talking about now, these are very fundamental issues. This is not, you know, another uh, witch hunting the federal government or trying to be very critical of the government. But let's even, you know, just look around the universities around you. Take a travel if you can or just visit one of them these federal universities or public institutions or schools, let's move it away from the institution. Just go to public schools around and look at the state of you know, infrastructures in the schools. 
Are there really something to write home about? What do you make of this learning environment? I came out of one, and sometimes it's quite worrisome. Five years before that time, 10 years before that time, it was the way it is. It's still the way it is. You go to the lecture rooms. I mean, you still find, you know, a broken desk, and sometimes you find students sitting on the floor. This, Asu, I mean, Asu is talking about revitalization from 2009. Now, imagine what the institutions, our universities would be like in five years or 10 years from now, if the government, if it's still the same way, and as we're still grappling with it, you still go to the institution, you can't find power supply. Meanwhile, in neighboring countries like Ghana, I would hear some of my colleagues way back would say, I'm still in, I'm like, why are you still in school at this time? I'm like, everywhere's lit. <laughs> and, and you know, that's different. Then you go to the lecturer's you know, offices or you go to where these lecturers are. We've seen a picture of where a lecturer somewhere in the south is. It looks like an uncompleted building. And it's quite shameful and, and, and very, um, you know, it's unimaginable that you have lecturers, you know, sitting in this kind of space. And what do you expect? Not making an excuse for their behavior. They become very aggressive towards students. No power, they're you know, sitting in a very unconducive environment. Are these issues that us are raising very valid? And let's even begin to talk about the issue of whether or not they will emb embezzle the fund. Does this fund really get to the account of ASU? Let's be realistic. Now, my colleague here, Kofi, had talked about people, you know, countries that have come into Nigeria, right here in Lagos, canvassing for students to leave the country trying to get parents to get their children. We also even, I mean, in different mediums, people come around to publicize. They're trying to scout for parents and look for opportunity, not even for the university. We're talking about colleges now. Is it not saddening enough? Is it not time that we put away all of the shenanigans and peer attention you know, to the crux of the matter, that we're losing it gradually? And it's, 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 it's quite unfortunate. So for how long will we continue like this? I have over time covered the rural areas and report, you know, um, you know, things happening in these communities. I see the state of primary schools, secondary schools owned by government. It is unfortunate. At this point, we're talking about state government now. Very, very unfortunate. We can't continue like this and expect a different result. We cannot continue like this and expect, you know, Nigerians and students from Nigeria to be able to compete with your counterparts outside of this country. It is unacceptable. I mean, for how long will we continue to play all of these games? It's time we sit back. Let's see what happens with the federal government in court with ASU and what would that and how that would, you know, what it would turn out for us. You know, so at some point, I got into an argument with some people who said, professors in this country, you can imagine for how long they have been in the system, they end, do not end up to 500,000 now. Can you imagine that? And juxtaposing that with the current reality, <laughs> I mean, really, it doesn't even make the educational system. It doesn't even make it very lucrative and attractive for people to want to venture into. Why would you want to become a lecturer? You become a professor. That's the peak of the career. But they're earning uh, 400 and what again? 12,000 or 30,000? Not even up to 500,000. Because I would say approximately that's 500,000. But it's not 500,000. I think we need to you know, just uh, take a break at this point in time because uh, let, let's know where our money is going. Is it that we really don't have money or we have decided not to you know, invest money where our heart should really be? All right, all right. Interesting, uh, very pregnant questions you've asked them, Mercy. We have to uh, move on. Let's see what happens um, uh, if the court can indeed force the hand of uh, ASU back to the classrooms. Hmm. My name is Kofi Bartels. My name is Mercy Bobo. We'll be back. We have a break when we return. We will be flipping through the pages of the National Daily Star, actually looking at the front page and uh, some of the headlines contained thereon. Stay with us. <laughs> 